So, my mom is, basically she controlled me all her life. You know why? Because I did everything for her. Everything was just for her. That's all I did. I just lived my life for someone else. That's all I kept on doing. For what? Just a stupid bitch who, well, oh, you know, my mom cared about me. My mom loved me. No, she never did. She just smothered with all this stupid hatred and anger. I'm just going ahead and talk about this topic too, because I don't want to see another person like this as well. Thank God's sake. I mean, shoved with being forced into some, forced into some religion I didn't even, I was being brainwashed by, being forced upon her own damn logic where she told me like, oh, the only person you're supposed to believe and trust is your mom and God. But you know, throughout my life of being a Catholic, throughout the school and all that, following what she, my mom told me to do, and you know, I just go into it because you know, that's what my mom wanted me to do. Or in the school because, you know, I had a good get good grades and that's what my mom wanted me to do. And I had to decide for myself after high school and I can't do it. Yes, I don't know what the hell my mom wants me to do. You know, I don't know what the hell I want to do. She has me so psychologically screwed in the head that she, I don't know what the hell I do. I can't do it. Because for some reason she has to be there. If she's there, she has to be there bossing me around all the damn time. And for her, I was just so psychologically attached to her fucking, to her commands all the damn time. All the damn time. She will always have to tell me what to do. What to do next, what to do next, what, what should I be doing? And then if I go ahead and make a mistake, if I don't follow order of her, it's the end of the world. And that always happens all the damn time. Because I always make a stupid mistake. You don't know it's perfect. And it's the end of the world. But you know, my mom wants me perfect. My mom wants to be, be, to be some perfect thing to be to, to, be to the whole world. Well, while she's constantly throwing me insults and bullshit. And then my dad is just blinded as well. Just throwing me all this hatred as well. But for what? I don't even know why. He just hated me for no apparent reason because my mom was always commanding. I was always bossing her oh, the family around. It's always a damn lunatic. You saw that one video? You see how crazy she is? How like she just starts screaming at it over and all that. Just starts shout. She just starts shouting. It just sounded like so damn obnoxious. No matter what, no matter what I did, it didn't matter. It sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Huh? Cause I can't decide for myself, and I have to follow the ways of my mom. My mom was the one who decides. The one was the one who shows the path. The one who guides me to some st stupid path of pain and misery. I can't go to a friend's house because you know she goes ahead and controls me. I'm not, sadly I can't even get anything because you know sadly the family's so damn poor. And my mom, if I get any sort of money, any means of money, my mom will take that shit away from me. Uh, yeah, sakes. Got titles with mental disorder, dis disabled, and a disability check. Like what? Yeah, like 2K. Because it was from a, uh, it was from the past, from a year ago, like from the whole like, year balance of a year. You know, I was trusting my mom. I was like, oh, you know, you, you, you know, you can go ahead and uh, you know. It's, Tell me where the check is over here. I'll sell it here. It's going to come in t 10 to 50 days. It's like, oh, right. And so I waited for that check. Kept on waiting, but I couldn't check on it because I had school. It was like in 2010. And so she goes ahead and, and so she goes ahead and says, oh, she goes ahead and says, oh, you know, you the uh, check. That check never came in. And you know, what I found out from my dad when he went to me when he was drunk at night, he told me, oh, you know, there was this check that your mom got. I don't know if it was yours, but it, you know, your mom basically split it in half. She got like a thousand, she got half, and then she gave me half. That check was to me. And she gave half of it to my dad, who basically just wasted it on who knows what it was, who knows whatever it is. She got a mortgage 
25k on my dad thinking that my dad is going to change giving him all the money when I'm realizing that maybe it, well we'll just give him all these different things but wait we're not using any logic here maybe the reason why he was like this was because there was no joint the family they just treated her like crap so Shay's gonna waste it on who knows what the hell it is because he just followed whatever else, whatever else everyone else said but then here's where mother logic comes in no matter how many times I tell her, no matter how many things I say to her, she's not going to get it. Because she's perfect in every way. And you know, she basically forced me to be perfect since I was a little kid. What other way can I do it? I was horribly depressed. You know how horribly depressed I am. I was dep I'm depressed to the point of suicide. I'm depressed to worthlessness, uselessness, socially depressed. So I, I have the whole package of depression. Not the suicide. Who, who knows how many th times I thought about it back when I was a little kid. 10th grade, 11th grade, in the beginning of 11th grade. I thought of it so much that that word lost its meaning. That word lost its meaning because it was just so overused so much that I just got used to saying that. Just like how hatred, anger, pain, misery, depression, loneliness, all that. I got used to all that back when I was a little kid. Because it was thrown at me so much. I was so damn depressed because I was so damn lonely back in 5th grade because well I'll get to that story about what happened and then uh, you know my sister shows up you know my sister was born and you know they were treating her so I see they got they was so damn more miserable because you know my parents just didn't because for my sister they treat her so nicely and respectful she would do whatever the hell she wants she, if she wants it she could go ahead and make wreck havoc destroy the destroy the damn living room, do whatever the hell she wants, make a mess and all that. My mother logic, it's gonna be all my fault. Because that's how it is with my mom. Whatever the hell it is, there could be some problem with society, whatever problem. I don't know, think of anything. Worldwide, happened last long time ago, happening in the future somehow. It's all my fault. Through my mom's logic. Through mother logic. She'll blame everything on me because for some reason I'm the fault. You know, so I was a fucking accident. That's what she told me. If I wasn't bored, then my dad would be working. My dad would be better off. He would be struggling so damn hard. But it doesn't use. She doesn't use logic. Maybe I turned out like that because you smothered me with all this hatred and anger. You controlled me for all this stupid shit. Yeah, you didn't realize. Wait, maybe we should give him space. You know, he can actually walk. He can actually do things on his own. But you know, we're gonna interfere, hold them, smother them, all this bullshit. Then he's gonna be crying and agitating pain because he can't get away from this psychotic, psychotic, psycho. But yet, it's not her fault. It's my fault, you know, through the psychiatrist bullshit. Because, you know, psychiatrists are fucking professionals. They know what the hell they're doing. So it's a chemical embarrassment. So let's just force this person on beds, right? Well, my chemical embarrassment is my fucking mom. But there's no way escaping from this person because she has so much psycho. She has so much dictatorship, so much fucking psycho. She's basically God. You know, I found out who the Catholic, Christian Catholic God was. Through all those times praying, all the damn times thinking, oh, he's gonna save me, he's gonna save me whatsoever. All those times throughout my whole life, it was my mom. My fucking Bob so please tell me so someone really want to follow some stupid religion where you're, you're dictating your whole life putting your whole life on line or some sort of who knows who the hell it is who's, who knows who the hell this person is Christian Catholic God I don't know how so many plot holes so many hip contradictions in that stupid religion just so pisses me off all these people are forcing it upon Look at my life. I can't decide for myself. I can't do anything for myself. Because I did everything for her. I was doing everything for her. For who? Who basically is God. My mom. And now that I can decide for myself. Now that I can start on my own life. After high, once I got out of high school. I can't. Because God. As if my mom. Is going to be there to control the shit out of me. Should have just left. Should have done what I wanted to do. No I did it. Because. Oh, what the hell I tried to do I didn't know anything I didn't know anything whatsoever you know that there was something some sort of stash of 
there was a way to get the hell out of here. I didn't know that I could have just, you know, transferred to some university or who knows what it is. I should just went to some thinking like that. No, I didn't do that. <sighs> well, like I said, why are you following some stupid religion where it's forcing you to be, rely on someone? Like I said, you as yourself decide for yourself. Don't, thought, don't try following from God, from whoever the hell it is. Because you know who God would do? God would say, look, I gave you life. I gave you uh, this world. I made everything for you. created all these different things for you. But I don't want you to worship me. I don't want you to do all this stupid bullshit, you know, rituals and all this. What I want you to do is if you see someone who's close to you, someone who's family to you, someone who's a friend of yours, or someone just random who who just is, is, looks like a regular person who needs some sort of help, who actually looks like a reasonable person, help them. That's how you're gonna repay. That's how you're gonna say thank you. That's how you're gonna repay me for all those damn things I ended up creating all that. That's what God would say. That the Christian Catholic God was like, oh, you need to follow the Ten Commandments. You need to go against all these sins. You need to go remember the Sabbath day. You need to go repent every single day, pray every single day. You need to do whatever the hell I tell you to do. No. Let's go with, let's just, I'm going to continue this later on and I'm going to just mix two weird, oddly enough beliefs together in the next video.